Hi, it's Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehotline.com with another quick tip for families in intensive care. Yesterday I had a client book an hour consulting in advocacy with me and we had a call lined up at 3.30 p.m. Central Standard Time and I was ready to go for the consulting call. The goal was to talk to the doctors. Her father was in ICU and the goal was to talk to the doctors and find out what's exactly happening why are they saying what they're saying? Is it accurate? Are there other options? Cutting a long story short, I then had a text message just five minutes before we, before I was actually going to call her and she said to me, look, I'm so sorry, my father has passed away. Now, that's very sad, of course. And unfortunately, we see this happen all the time that people do their research when they have a loved one in intensive care simply when it's too late. The biggest challenge for families in intensive care is that they simply don't know what they don't know. They don't know what to look for. They don't know what questions to ask. They don't know their rights and they don't know how to manage doctors and nurses in intensive care. Now after having worked in intensive care for over 20 years and after having consulted and advocated for hundreds of families in intensive care all over the world, you can't leave it to chance when you have a loved one in intensive care. You simply can't because things like that happen. The minute you have a loved one going in intensive care, into intensive care, you need to start doing your research. You need to get a professional consultant and advocate to make sure that your loved one is getting best care and treatment, most importantly, evidence-based care and treatment, and that your rights are being met and your loved one's rights are being followed and that's often not the case unless someone someone professional like myself can shed light on your rights and on your loved one's rights so this is my quick tip for today do not wait if you have a loved one in intensive care to get professional help get professional advocacy and consulting now if you have a loved one in intensive care go and check out intensivecarehotline.com call us on one of the numbers on the top of the website or send me an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com Like this video, comment down below what questions that you have and subscribe to my YouTube channel for updates for families in intensive care. This is Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehotline.com and I'll talk to you in a few days.